sometime Allah gave you power. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you in charge of something. You are a teacher, you are employer, you are a leader, you are something that you have a power to implement, power to use it. And that power sometimes is a test. And that's why, subhanallah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam mentioned that after I leave, follow and obey my khulafa al-rashidun, the guided khulafa. And Prophet limited those khulafa in 30 years. That the khulafa time will be in 30 years. So those khulafa are five. Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu, Umar al Farooq, Uthman al Ghani, Ali al Murtada, and Hassan ibn Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. It is amazing that each and every one of them, the day they took the responsibility to become the Khalifa to Rasulullah, the day Abu Bakr took the bay'ah, the day Umar and Usman took the bay'ah, that was the most difficult day in their life, and they cried literally. Umar used to say, the best time I slept was before I become Khalifa. Go and study the life of Umar and Usman. They did not sleep at, at night. They walk in the streets. And they look after people. And Omar used to cry and he used to say, In my time, if a bird die somewhere on the desert because of the thirst, how I'm going to respond to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Responsibility. Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in Quran, He tested Sulaiman alayhi salatu was salam, the Prophet of Allah. He tested. Sulaiman alayhi salatu was salam and he gave him everything surah an naml ayah number 40 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he tested Sulaiman and he gave him everything beyond of our imagination wind used to listen to him cloud used to follow him jinn used to serve for him his throne used to fly on the the space he, he asked Allah that, Oh Allah, give me the kingdom that nobody before me has it and no one shall have after I leave. And Allah granted his dua. Yet he said, He was aware of it. He was in conscious that Allah give me everything today to test me. And he want to see, Do I become thankful to Allah or neglectful to his bounties and blessings. Dear brothers and sisters, small things at your hand could be a test of Allah. Something at your table could be a test of Allah Rabbil Alameen. Be very careful and extra conscious. This life is nothing but the test. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a tawfiq. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'il muslimin wa akhru da'wana Allah. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد Dear brothers and sisters, Allah has created us for a purpose and then he put us in the way of life that we have option to do wrong or to do right one side shaitan is very active and he bringing temptations and and beautifying and decorated decorating the sins for us so we can be misguided and the other side allah's prophet bring everything clear and the angel saying that do not take any exit and keep yourself ala sirat mustaqeem and Allah has sent Quran and the Sunnah as a test for us dear brothers and sisters every day 
every moment, every week, we are at a new test. Be God conscious and think that this could be a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our wealth can be a greatest test. As a matter of fact, I don't have time to go further in detail. Allah mentioned a further word in Quran which is a fitna and fitna translated as a trial and Allah said your wealth is a fitna for you next Friday we're going to talk about that I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and pray to him that he give us a strength and wisdom to pass the test of our life Ya Allah give us wisdom and help us to live on this life so we can protect ourselves and our soul from shaitan and his temptations. Innaka anta arhamur rahimin. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adhab al-nar. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa aqimu salam.